Guys, thanks so much for joining us again this week. Before we get started in this week's video, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. Next Wednesday at 6 p.m., we're gonna be launching our first video on our new channel, Kyle and Maggie. And on that channel, we're gonna highlight all the outdoor activities that we enjoy, from camping, to fishing for all species, to hiking and cooking. So go down in the link in the description and hit the link so you can get subscribed to our new channels because you're not gonna wanna miss these uploads. So we're gonna be posting bi-weekly on each channel, XXL Chrome Chasing and Kyle and Maggie. And also guys, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right down below the screen here. It really helps us get our videos out there and we really appreciate it guys. So let's get started in this week's video. You know, the thought of traveling to Kentucky as the destination to fish had never really crossed my mind before, and we ended up here by mistake. Our travels got redirected, and we just started hearing about the Cumberland River. We did a little research on it and heard about all the opportunities it had for anglers, and we were really excited to check it out. So we got to our Airbnb late in the afternoon, we got checked in and headed right to the river. Once we saw how beautiful and powerful the Cumberland River was, not only the river, but how beautiful the scenery was surrounding it, we were so excited to wake up the next morning and see what the system had to offer. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days it feels like madness so what would I do without you when colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day what would I do without you a decade goes by without a warning and there's still a kindness in your eyes so the next morning we woke up early, we got out on the river, and it was super rainy and cloudy. Not the best conditions for us maybe, but definitely the best conditions for fishing. We made our way up the river, and as we were getting close to the dam, we noticed there were these huge flocks of birds that were crashing on bait right up by the dam. So we were thinking, there's got to be some big predator fish under the water that are pushing that bait up for those birds to crash in on. How do I look, guys? <laughs> These aren't the most comfortable life jackets, but you know what, they'll work. We're gonna go up here to the dam, so you know all these dams in the south that come out of these huge reservoirs filter shad, threadfin, alewives, gizzard shad, all filter through these big dams. So when the water's running and a lot of generators are running, these fish, a lot of times, these big trout will nose right up to these dams to crash on this bait fish. You're gonna see there's tons of birds diving, tons of life and tons of activity up here. So, okay, here we go, guys. Uh-oh. My minnow's sabotaging my drift here. So what we're doing, guys, is we're just getting right up to this dam here, and we're just floating back with the current, and we're back bouncing our baits right up off the bottom. That was a fish for sure. That was a fish for sure. Oh, he <laughs> robbed me. Fish. Yeah. Looks like he rolled in my line a little bit maybe. Oh, oh he's going under the boat. <laughs> he's going under the boat. <laughs> 
beautiful rainbow, Maggie. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> beautiful rainbow. Well, guys, I just got the first one of the day. Really, really pretty rainbow. It's so fat. Looks like my eggs aren't the only thing he's been eating, but yeah, he was right b up by the dam. We were just floating back. Nice. Fish, Max. Max, fish on the middle. Fish on the middle. Oh, got one, guys, on the middle. Oh. Got one on the middle, guys. Big rainbow. Big rainbow. Big rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Drag peeler, baby. I put on a giant shiner and I was just bouncing it right underneath the boat. Big rainbow came and grabbed it, baby. Oh, look at this. <laughs> on a big, guys, that shiner was about that big. That is a gigantic rainbow. And oh, he's in the net. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Check out that beautiful rainbow on a huge shiner. Wow. Oh, get in bed, guys. Get in bed. Get in bed. Oh, I just was getting bad. Fish. Going back. Another rainbow, I think. Another pretty nice. rainbow. Good job. <laughs> they keep getting bigger, I think. What a crazy day, guys. Just awesome big rainbows out here. Jeez, this is crazy. <laughs> After seeing these first few rainbows come to the boat, I was really impressed. Not only by the size of these fish, but by how beautiful and healthy they were. And we knew it was just a matter of time before we'd hook into another species. Okay, here we go, guys. Dropping down. Fish, fish, big fish, big fish. That's a stripe. That's a striper, guys, I think. I think I got a striper, guys. That's a striper. Oh my gosh, guys. He absolutely annihilated this bait, and this is a big fish. This is a big fish. As soon as my minnow got down there, and I had a big old shiner on there, guys. As soon as that thing got down, baby. <laughs> as soon as that thing hit the bottom, this thing just attacked him. And he's just ripping. Guys, we heard there were big stripers in here. And I, Maggie's been bouncing a spawn sack through here and catching some giant rainbows. Look at this thing is fighting like a salmon. <laughs> what is it, guys? What is it? We don't know it's a striper. We don't know it's a striper, but we're guessing just the way it's been fighting, but it could be a big brownie. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Oh, get it. Oh. oh! Got a striper, baby! Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! What a fight, guys. That was so awesome. Just a beautiful fish, man. Just that iridescent blue all over his sides and just a gorgeous fish. Wow, was that exciting. I haven't been that excited fighting a fish in a minute, guys. That was so awesome. We're gonna get this guy right back here. Oh my gosh. Fish, 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 guys. That feels like a trout. That feels like a trout. That was, this feels like a brown, guys. This feels like a brown. It was just a real, real deep thump. It, it's a walleye. It's a big walleye. Oh my gosh, it's a big walleye. No way. I was gonna say that was not a striper bite, but it was something. Oh 
my gosh, look at that walleye. Oh, it's a wally. It's a wally, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a nice wally, guys. <laughs> That's dinner right there, baby. That might be a catch and cook. <laughs> Look at that. Just a nice wally on a big old shiner, guys. Looks like we're gonna do a catch and cook, so stay tuned. I think Mag's gonna have a cool catch and cook coming at you. Fish, fish. Fish on, guys. That thing smoked it. Oh, what is it? It's 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 not it's not a striper. It's not a striper. It might be a brown. It's a brown. It's a big brown, guys. It's a big brown. Oh my gosh. It is a big brown, guys. Oh, what a pretty fish, guys. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Oh, in the oh, 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 oh. Look at that football. Look at that football. Oh my gosh, he's so fat. Wow, guys, what a fish. I am so happy. This is one of my favorite days of fishing ever. Stripers, browns, rainbows. What a day, baby. This was quickly turning out to be one of our favorite days of fishing of all time. We were catching so many different species of fish and every single fish that we caught was such a high quality. It was definitely setting the bar really, really high for the rest of our travels in the south. Whoa! 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 You got a screamer, baby? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> wow, guys, check out the clouds coming in up here, or the fog line. This is so cool. What a place. Mags with the, hopefully, we're thinking it's a big striper that's just feeling some line, baby! <laughs> I'm focusing. She's focused. I haven't gotten a striper yet today. Oh, is that a nice fish, Mags? In the net, Mags! Mags is on the board with the striper! Yeah! Oh, he's gorgeous, too. Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Woo! Uh -huh. Woo! Down. Straight down. Great job, Maggie. Thanks. She's on the board with the striper, baby. Finally, it took all day. Well, I guess not all day. We've been here for like three hours, four hours, maybe. So, awesome. We got one. Yeah. Fish, fish. Woo -hoo -hoo, another screamer, guys! Another screamer, guys. <laughs> oh, it's a head shaker, baby! <laughs> oh, look at that seagull. Picking up this my look at oh my gosh guys the striper just spit up some shad and the seagulls are trying to get the shad the striper's spitting up. We got him baby not as big as the last one but just a beautiful fish guys. Well, we're back at our beautiful little cabin here, right on the Cumberland River. We're about 10 miles downstream of where we were fishing at, and it is just raining cats and dogs out here, guys. It was pouring on us most of the day. We couldn't even use our cameras most of the day just because it was raining so hard, especially to change out batteries or use the big camera and stuff like that. So we got as much footage as we can get, but that will definitely be a day that we 
I never forget. I mean, that was one of my favorite days of my life for just multiple species and just nice quality fish too. I mean, we caught nice stripers, we caught a nice brown, we caught nice rainbows, we caught a nice walleye. It was just so much fun. We wish we could have stayed out there all day, but we were soaking wet by about noon, but we got a few good hours in this morning, so we're really thankful for that. But now I'm gonna flay up this walleye here and Maggie's gonna do an awesome catch and cook on this walleye. Holy cow, is it cold out there guys. Wow, had to bring the minnows in so they don't freeze solid tonight. What a roller coaster weather we've had guys. It was 48 degrees and raining today. We got about an inch of rain today and now it is 10 degrees outside. It is getting treacherous out there, jeez. Yeah guys, we were gonna go to the store this afternoon and pick up some ingredients to make a brand new recipe for you, but unfortunately it is getting pretty dangerous out there pretty quick, so we're gonna stick here and we have some stuff to whip up some quick fish tacos. We might not have all of the ingredients that we would normally make, but we have most of the good stuff like avocados and mayonnaise and butter and stuff to fry up the fish, so they're gonna be good regardless and we're gonna take you guys along with us and get cooking. Do? That'll do. <laughs> if I didn't have fresh fish in the fridge, I would be going to the grocery store to get fish just to make this recipe. Now, what's the one other ingredients that we usually use in this, Mags? Mm -hmm. A couple ingredients, right? I usually put in cabbage and I usually put in cheese. Um, I'll have the full recipe in the description below, but honestly, tacos are hard to mess up. I feel like if you have fish, and you have avocado, you pretty much have a taco. <laughs> or fish, mayonnaise, and avocado pretty much are a taco, I feel like. <laughs> All in all, we had a wonderful time fishing in Kentucky for the first time ever. We were blown away by the powerful rivers, massive reservoirs, and sheer beauty of this state. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, Kyle and Maggie, to see our next film from this adventure. 